Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make these velocity edits, which are pretty popular on TikTok. And I've made a tutorial on how I make my velocity edits in the past, but that was without Twixter, which is a plugin, and these are all made with Twixter. All of these examples were made by me, and they're on my TikTok, which is JC's Vids. So first I'm making the intro, which looks like this. It's like normal time and goes into slow-mo. So first you're going to want to keyframe 100 on your desired beat, and then go one frame over and increase it to around 150 to 200. Then go a couple frames over and put it to around 30 or 50 or 20, whatever you like. I usually do around 30. So once I did the intro, I selected all of the clips and added Twixter Pro to all of them. On the first clip, you're going to want to keyframe speed at 100 and move one frame over and increase it to around 150, 200, and then move a couple frames over and make it to around 30, like I said before. And then you're going to want to copy it by Command C and then paste it onto your next clip, which is Command V. Here's a little hack that I do if my slow mo looks choppy. I go into layer, then time, then time stretch, then decrease the time to around 75 or 50. Then I extend the clip, of course, and then I paste the same speed keyframes that I did on the other one and adjust it to however you want. Then I paste the keyframes onto the other clips, and then I'm pasting it on all of the other ones. On this clip, there is two beats, as you can see, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So the first thing I did was paste the keyframes from the last clip, then added another keyframe for 40. And you're going to want to add a keyframe wherever your second beat is, and increase it to around 170, 150, whatever you want. And then a couple frames over, I added another keyframe for 40. It's basically just like doing the same thing twice. Then I'm just pasting the Twixter keyframes on the rest of the normal clips. Then on the intro, I'm splitting the clip where the beat was, and I'm adding brightness and contrast, and I'm keyframing brightness, so it flashes on the second beat. And now I'm pre-composing these clips together, and then I realized I did it wrong, so I undid it, <laughs> and then I added brightness on the second beat of the first clip, and I'm keyframing brightness and contrast, so it flashes like so. And now I'm pre-composing them together, and I'm adding an effect called BCC Lens Blur Orbs, which you need the BCC plugin, and the link for that will be in the description. Under Gamma, you're going to want to increase it to the max, which is 1000. Then you're going to want to keyframe Iris Scale at around 10 at the beginning of the clip, and then close to the end, or the second B, you're going to want to put it to zero and make your graph look like something like this. Then I'm adding brightness and contrast to this clip as well, keyframing 0 near the second beat and 100 at the beginning of the clip. Then I'm going under effects and copying these effects and pasting them onto the next clip. Since this clip isn't the same length as the other one, it's a bit longer, I'm extending the keyframes of both um, the lens blur and brightness and contrast. And I'm fixing the graph here, and here I'm extending brightness and contrast. Then I'm pasting it onto the next clip and adjusting it and adjusting the graph. Then I'm doing the same thing on all the other clips. I copy the lens blur orbs and brightness and contrast and paste them by doing command C for copy, command V for paste, and extending the keyframes if I need to to make them longer or shorter depending on how long the clip is. Once I'm done that, I am going back to the intro and adding an effect called Flicker, which is a sapphire plugin, and I'm just increasing the amplitude so the flicker looks a bit darker. Then I'm adding an adjustment layer and adding S Shake, which is a sapphire plugin as well. And I usually only edit the amplitude and frequency. The frequency I do around like 3 and 5. And I bring the amplitude to around 0.3 to 0.2. Make sure you press the little box for the motion blur. Then I'm selecting all of the clips and pre-composing them together and adding looks, which is Magic Bullet Looks, a plugin, and dragging in curves. Just copy what I do here because it'll be kind of hard to explain. This was inspired by someone on TikTok. I will put their user here. Then I'm adding hue and saturation and increasing it to around 120. Then I'm adding exposure to make it just a bit brighter. 
and then I'm adding lens vignette. Vignette? I don't even know how to say it. Then I'm going to be adding an effect called unsharp mask. This will make the quality better. Um, this whole process I got from this TikTok user, so credit to them fully. And that is it. Here is the um, final product again. You can look at this edit on my TikTok. And that is it for this video. If this helped, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or are you confused or anything, let me know in the comments and I will reply and try and help you. And yeah, thank you for watching.